All right, guys, out on the side of the house. It's uh, Saturday night, so the, uh, the boy's down, and wife's got a hold of the baby, so that's all good. So uh, we kind of got a real routine going on, so it took a few days, but it's all good. Get back out here start working on this mother. So <clears throat> what I've decided to do since it's uh, a little bit late, it's like 9-something, um, and I just had a freaking large one of those sonics custards oh my god they're like a custard concrete it's called now i got like it feels like there's concrete in my stomach because i just ate a freaking large one and it was awesome so anyways i had the cookie dough but uh, i'm just gonna wire wire brush this stuff real quick i am gonna cut this off so i'll just paint around it and when i move it i'll just whatever i mean i might even paint it and just cut it well i don't know what i'm gonna do but anyways i'm gonna start i'm just gonna wire or wire brush them real quick Lay some paint on them. Went up to Walmart. Got some, uh, I don't know. It's like the best spray paint ever. But anyways, yeah, so uh, that's what I'm going to do. I still haven't knocked off my screws yet. So maybe tomorrow in the daytime I'll get out here and just knock the knock them out of there. So uh, that is it. I'm going to put you on the GoPro and we're going to get going. guys here we go I unloaded about four cans on this mugger and basically I just wanted to just cover the welds and just just put a little bit of a layer of paint on it so it wouldn't rust and so basically what I did I went over it with the wire brush and I didn't even go that much it was just like a little bit of surface rust on here so this thing's probably only seen California and Nevada so um, it didn't really have much it's just like this you know it's like surface so it's just really like a once you go over it a little bit it just kind of turns it into dust and then i just wiped it off with a rag and painted over it because i don't care how it looks just as long as there's a little bit of paint so it'll bond to the dirt and the metal so it'll be fine but i just wanted it to have something on it yeah so i don't know it looks better anyway this makes me feel better so tomorrow i'm going to get out here and i'm going to take the um the flap wheel and I'm gonna hit all these on the whole all around the sides of the truck I'm gonna hit with a flap wheel and uh, figure out what color I want to paint I'll either go white or black I don't know right now I'm still debating probably white but I don't know the black looks good though so it's kind of why I like it but anyways the reason I'm gonna take the flap wheel is just cuz like the paints chipping up you can see there's um, a bunch of like I don't know. Hold on. There's like paint 
like a bunch of paint on here that's stuck so it would take me forever with like the DA or something so I'm just gonna do the flap wheel and you know just take it down to bare metal and then uh, I'll just paint it and put a light coat and just go from there just with a rattle can so you can see how all this paint is on here so anything other than the flap wheel I got a new 80 grit uh, disc so I'll go over it and take it right off it's just too noisy to do it now and clean this up and paint it but yeah so so yeah so all this tomorrow we'll get this done and get it all get it all painted up that'll look a lot better too I'm gonna to try clean up that box a little bit get it painted I gotta fix one of the little hinges down there so we'll whip something up for that and then we gotta cut our plate I don't know if I'll get to that tomorrow but uh, we will yeah so you know what I was thinking about doing is like I said the back tire of the K10 is gonna sit about right here and so let's do that and then so the back of the truck will probably be out about right here so what I'm thinking about doing is let me show you what's going on here so they wired in a four-way stop and down here where you can't see there's a tail light converter so basically it just when you have the amber it just converts it so that it all goes through the the four pin and it'll work on the red light um, but anyway so they put one of those in already and so what I was thinking is that when I have the K10 up here obviously the K10 is going to to hang over a bit and then you know you want to make sure that people can see that you know and have lights lighting and all that stuff so what I was thinking about doing is taking there's uh this stuff is like busted right here so you can see here like it's just it's nasty and just like it's all it's just busted up right here so it ain't you know they got freaking like a wire nuts on there anyway so what i'm thinking about doing is um i will cut it splice in some new four some new flat four and run it like make a pigtail and then what I think I might do on the K10 is like up on the frame rail, I'll splice the flat four wiring and then put one of those, you know, just standard, you know, the trailer plug, basically like the same plug as this. And then I'll, I'll put that on each side so I can plug this into each other. And then on the one side, I'll make it to where this pigtail can plug in. So I'll be, basically eliminate it from the front of the truck so I won't get no feedback or anything and then it'll operate my tail lights so then that way when my truck's hanging over and I'm driving the you know the lights will be like I said a back here a little bit so then when I'm braking with this truck and turn signaling and all that all the same things will be happening on the back lights of the K10 so I think that'll be kind of a cool idea uh, that might work and then instead of moving those lights I think I'm gonna go look and see if I could find some like um, probably like um, something like I had on the uh, put on the k10 those are pretty cheap or like some like a strip light and then just put a couple strip lights in the back of here if they're not too much if they are I'll just move those ones but I like where they are um, once I move the deal you'll be able to see them and then once I do all that I should have plenty of lights I do need to do marker lights but anyways that's all I'm talking your off but yeah we got some paint on this sucker all right that's it for tonight all right, guys, it's the next day. It is a beautiful day out here, man. It's freaking like, I don't know, it's like 70 something. But anyways, got out last night, sprayed some paint on this. It's not completely like all like covered in glossy, but at least there's a coating of something on it. I had to put like two coats. I couldn't really see that good on the side, some of the side ones, but at least where the wood sits right here, you have to have something on it. I went a little thick on here, so that way it has some paint on it. Yeah, and then I painted up these a little bit where there was some rust. So, yeah. So, uh, it's almost, uh, we got, uh, babies down for a nap, or the boys down for a nap. A baby is, uh, with the wife and they're currently, uh, I don't know. She's having a good time. Anyway, so, um, yeah. So, it's time to get some work done on the truck. I can't neglect my subscribers, you know. I gotta get, get you guys something. Anyway, so, um, yeah. So, we're coming along here. I'm going to today, today, the, so the plan is for the day, um, if I can get a chance to get this piece, this back piece cut that I'm going to put, and basically I'm just going to do a, uh, just a, a piece of 
square piece of sheet metal and I'm just gonna go pretty much from how am I gonna oh yeah I'm gonna go from the bottom here up to the top then I'm gonna cut it and pop that in the other one back here that I was gonna take off I don't know if I explained it to you but it's just too dang hard to get out of here uh, where's that Where the hell it go? Oh, there it goes. it's just I can't grind the welds and stuff on it so I'm not even gonna mess with it and I don't really feel like I need these sides because it's not really add any structure I think that's just how they made it but I'm just gonna do a flat piece just from the back side here down there so and that might add a little structure if I weld that up like that um, but yeah and then I got this new deal I'm trying I was watching some dudes video and uh, he was doing some work on a head mount I was like that's kind of cool so I figured you guys would like that so I took a, since I'm cheap like that I took a, my light off of this energizer freaking little headlight I've been using and it had a nice contoured deal and I was able to use this helmet sticky like a long time ago when I first got my GoPros I bought a whole bag of stuff and uh, anyway so I had an extra one left and I stuck it right on there and so that's how it's working so as long as I'm not too like spastic it don't look too bad so you'll get a first taste of it on this video so I'm gonna go ahead and wheel my wagon around and uh, going to get I'm gonna work on this piece a little bit get it welded in and then I'm gonna get the flap wheel up on the grinder and we're just gonna flap wheel this whole thing just get it down to uh, either bare metal or as far as it needs to be to be kind of smooth and because you see it has all this paint and stuff on it and like just there's no way I'm gonna get this off with anything really else so I'll just hit it with that and it just takes it right off so I'm gonna put on my put on my freaking mask because be kicking up some paint dust so anyways all right let's get let's peanut butter jelly time let's go all right what well, kind of pissed me off i had the whole I had the, like the whole probably like 20 minutes cleaning this stuff up and getting it ready um on the gopro on my head and then i apparently it gave me some kind of like recording error or something hell i don't know i never usually have it give me an issue so anyways we'll uh we'll do some more first person stuff but anyways all I did was really I cleaned this all up, got it into position to where it's good. I'm going to burn it on now. Probably just do like a little <laughs> stitch it in there and we will call that good to go. And then we'll get on grinding down this mofo right here. Yeah, that ought to be fun. Alright, so I got this uh, deal burned in here. Oh, came out pretty good. I just decided just to weld it all the way around. I don't know if I'm going to grind it or not. I'm probably just going to clean up around it and paint it. Um, so, yeah, I'm getting a sunburn out here already. So, <laughs> it's it's starting to get a little warm. So, I'm just going to move it to the front of the house where it's all shaded. And then start grinding on the bed. Get it all uh, ready to go and then pop some paint on it. What do you think? Alright, let's move this whole shebang out of here. All right, so I've been going along here. I put another kind of semi-new deal on it, but the, like the paint was like so thick. I don't know if you can see, can't really, but it was like so thick that like if you 
like just kind of like work one area it just like kind of like smeared it around you know what i mean so i just figured i'd come the whole way and then would just like take the layer and just kind of keep peeling the layer off now i'm going to put my new i'm going to put my new uh flap wheel on and hit it again and probably get it mostly down to metal here pretty quick and then uh i'll lay i don't know if i have primer i'll prime it if not i'll just put like a fine layer of some black on it and then uh, just uh, I don't know, paint it a few times, but like it don't have to be perfect, but it's like, should have might as well take a few minutes. You can just see where this thing's been run into stuff. But I don't know what kind of paint they use, but damn, that shit was thick. It was like freaking house paint or something. I don't know. Anyways, all right, let's continue. All right, so, you know, it's just the bed. We ain't going for perfection here. So, pretty much got all the nasty stuff off the top. On the sides, it's feeling pretty good. It's pretty, pretty even. I might hit these little rusty areas a little bit more, but maybe a little down here. But for the most part, I mean, it's just the bed. But I just didn't want like that big old chunky, I don't know, epoxy or whatever that stuff was. I just thought it looked funny. Like I'm just gonna spray the hell out of it with black. It'll look fine. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's just the bed. You know, it ain't going in a car show or nothing. So. Um, just wanted to just clean it up and the paint should stick to that so I should be okay So I'm gonna hit it just a tiny bit more clean it up and then uh, spray a little black on it and then uh, I don't know maybe I'll continue Doing this side. I don't know what time it is. I'll have to check the time but and then we got to get this side So I may get this a little bit later today I may continue here a little bit, but I'm just gonna do the same to this side and then like I said I don't know what I'm gonna do up here. I think once I figure out what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the bed off of the truck, pull the truck out from under it. I'll build some like stands or something. And I was thinking about just taking like some big angle, like some two by three angle. I was thinking about building my ramps out of two by three angle, but taking a piece and just running it across here and welding it here. And then that, cause it's kind of like uneven. So I don't wanna like spend the time to like make it even because it's like kind of bent and you know what I mean? It's just, it is what it is, but it's kind of cool because I like having it here because, you know, let's say I go and pick up a bunch of metal or something or whatever I pick up, um, at least there's like going to be a, a stop here. So if I strap down a bunch of metal, at least there's going to be something to stop it and not go into the back of my truck. You know what I mean? So I might just do that. Just get a piece of a two by three angle, put it over the top and then just kind of weld it in straight. But I, I don't want to weld over that gas tank. So once I figure it all out, all I got to do is loosen up all my bolts and the u-bolts and lift the lift the bed up put it on some some stilts and pull the truck out from under it so not too big of a deal and like i said i busted up my freaking thing i heard something i was like i wonder what that is and i'm like oh crap <laughs> you know what i mean so good thing it wasn't plugged in so it shouldn't have shorted anything out but i do have that tail light converter so it's already wired to the flat four and i'm not going to use a flat four for trailer or anything uh, but I'll just wire it in, like I said, to the K10 lights and uh, and to my lights back here. So it'll be good. Cool. It'll be good. I don't need the amber. You know, I just need to freaking stop, and stop and turn. And this stuff back here, like that paint was just super thick. But I uh, had a new new deal, and it's pretty smooth. You know, it ain't greatest, but it's better than it was. That's for sure. All right, so uh, I'm gonna get to get to doing some painting or something.
All right, I was able to put just like a tiny bit of paint on it, and but it's like wind's coming up, so it's like it's okay for a second, and then it like blows and freaking then it's like my my paint's just blowing away in the wind. So I'll move it to the side of the house if it's less over there. Then I'll uh, continue painting it for a little bit. If not, <clears throat> then uh, I'll just wait till the night. Maybe it'll be better like later. Usually the wind calms down in the afternoon sometimes. So. Uh, just yeah, it's just not conducive to painting right now. But you can see it's getting a little darker. But yeah, it's gonna look better. I think it's gonna look good once it's all black. So uh, yeah, we'll just keep going. But anyways, I'm gonna move it over there for right now. All right, guys, so this is pretty much where I ended up. I unloaded about, I don't know, about three coats, maybe four coats on it. Um, I'm still going to put, like, one more coat, maybe two. And uh, I think it's looking okay. Just another couple coats will just make it gloss a little bit more. And it don't really look too bad. You know, I mean, you can... It's obviously, like I said, it's not perfect. And, you know, it's, like, it's dented up all over the place and stuff. But my main goal was to just get all, like, the nasty stuff off and just kind of kind of smooth it out the best I can and so I did it looks okay um, I don't know I like the black because it it like I said it hides the imp imp imperfections a lot I think it looks it's pretty decent I think the white would have looked pretty good on here too um, in retrospect to the black but I think it's fine I think once I get the uh, kind of looks a little funny now but I think once I get the wood on here and treat it. I think the black and the wood will go good together. So I think that's okay. But let's see. You can see there. So the uh, yeah. I don't know. Um, what else? What else do I got to do from here? Um, really, like I said, put another coat on it, and uh, we got to get the uh, little fuel fill little plate cut. I just didn't really have time to cut it. I got to do some stuff, and then so I'm hoping to just you know, like I said, I'm just going to continue to work on the bed and just get the bed knocked out. Uh, get my lights on the back and all that stuff. And I'm going to paint this stuff here too. Probably going to do the same thing here with the grinder. Go over it. I don't really want to hit this too much with the grinder because it will just take all this down. So I think I'll just I'll just clean it up, wire brush it, or you know hit it with something just to scuff it up enough and just throw some paint over it. I'm not really going to worry about cleaning it up too much. But all this stuff right here I will. And then I'll paint it. That way it has like a nice, nice little border around. You know what I mean? And then up here, like I said, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably paint this black once I figure out what I'm going to do. But right now, um, I'm still debating what I'm going to do with this. I think I'm going to leave a little bit of a lip. I don't know if I'm going to cut it more or leave it like this. But I think that's pretty good. Like I said, if i am got some steel on here, some lumber, or, you know, if there's something that's like, you know, tall or whatever that's tied down, you know, that can actually like, you know, push up against here and be tied down to where it's once it's strapped it's not going to like slide forward stuff like that so i like having this here it's not the full headache rack but at least it keeps it keep the load from shifting yeah so that's it so uh, i'm going to wrap this sucker up if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you want to be a part of the carburetorsuck.com garage family please hit the subscribe button you guys have a good night, and we will get more work done on this sucker this week. Take care.